Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to take a look at these two radar detectors. Now this is the newest model and this is a previous model that was made over a decade ago. And this is the Whistler 1665. And I believe I got this around 2004. Now, this is the latest model in 2015, so this is the Whistler XTR-445. And I got curious as to whether there was a significant difference in sensitivity between an old unit that is over a decade old and the latest generation version of it. And you're going to be quite surprised at what we find, so we're going to take these two units in conjunction with the GPS so you can see where the alarms are sounding. We're going to take them on a drive and we're going to go from the suburbs and we're going to go to the edge of the city and we're going to see exactly what we pick up and which unit is far more sensitive. So it'll be interesting to see whether it's this one or that one. So let's take a look at our drive. Hey, 
A band. <laughs>
So as you could see from our drive, it was the new unit that was giving off the vast majority of the alarms that we saw. And it really isn't too surprising that the new unit is far more sensitive than a decade old unit. So the thing that I took away from this is that if you have a an old radar unit, you're missing a lot of the radar that's out there. And you really should be using the latest generation. I probably wouldn't keep a radar unit for more than about five years without upgrading it. And I think that's a pretty good policy given the march of technology and the level of sophistication that the newer units have. So my recommendation is change your radar unit to a new one if you're using one that is more than five years old. If you want to find out more on the subject of electrical forensics, you'll find it in this book. And I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.